Hello Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of January 2018. Welcome to the new year. It's a new year which begins with a clustering of energy in the most tender part of your scope. Of course this can be the part of the year when we do cosset ourselves away a little bit, especially in the northern hemisphere, hunker down and just recover from the after effects of the seasonal festivities, but also just that in a psychological sense for your zodiac sign, it's a time of reflection preparing for when the sun enters Aquarius this year on the 20th. But also you've got Venus to look forward to entering your sign on the 18th and then Mercury as the month draws to a close. So there's lots of energy that's going to jizz up your personal endeavours coming later this month. But for now, you may find yourself wanting to just step back a little bit and cocoon yourself away. But then there's another part of you that really wants to give it loud and get out there and demonstrate to people just how much clout and gravitas you have. So there's a bit of a dichotomy, a paradox between these two energies. It's coming because there's activity in your 10th solar house, the midheaven, which puts your efforts in the public eye, and there's activities in the more tender, secretive 12th house. But then think of it like this, Aquarius. Are you going to be doing things behind the, the scenes, but actually then presenting them in a much more public way? I think that's entirely possible. So it could be a time of strategic planning, research, and thinking, but that doesn't mean to say that you're not going to be very busy and making a difference. It's just, it's all in the gestation phase. Then again, with Mercury still in the most bubbly and friendly parts of your scope, there's still going to be some people who are going to be in touch. And as ever, some people will want to share their feelings with you, knowing that you're a trusted person, shoulder to cry on, and you can soak up different perspectives in a very non-judgmental way. So that's entirely poss possible. But if you do feel yourself feeling a bit tender at times, don't judge it, whether it's psychological, physical or emotional. It's just that part of the year when you're not absolutely on top form. Well, that's all to come later this month, but this still can be an extremely important week. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.